In this presentation, we introduce Piano Todio, an open source toolkit written in Python for speaker diarization My name is Hervé Brodin. I am the lead developer of the Piano library, and this is a joint work with all past contributors to the Piano Todio library. Based on PyTorch machine learning framework, it provides a set of trainable end-to-end -end neural building blocks that can be combined and jointly optimized to build speaker diarization pipelines. Speaker diarization is the task of partitioning an audio stream into homogeneous temporal segments according to the identity of the speaker. This is usually addressed by putting together a collection of building blocks, each tackling a specific task, for instance, voice activity detection, speaker change detection, clustering, or even resegmentation. While each building block has to be trained separately, Piano Todio combines them into a speaker diarizationization pipeline whose hyperparameters are optimized jointly to minimize the diarization error rate or any other metric available in Piano metrics. This joint optimization process usually leads to better results than the late combination of multiple building blocks that were tuned independently from each other. To easily get non-experts started with speaker diarization Piano Todio comes with pre-trained systems available on Torchurb and Google Colab, for instance. They are described in details in the reference paper, Neural Speech Turn Segmentation and Affinity Propagation for Speaker Diarization Diarization Piano Todio also comes with pre-trained models covering a wide range of domains for voice activity detection, speaker change detection, overlap speed detection, and speaker embedding reaching state-of-the-art performance for most of them. For instance, voice activity detection is the task of detecting speech regions in a given audio stream or recording. It is addressed in Piano Todio as a sequence labeling task, where the input is the sequence of feature vectors, and the expected output is the corresponding sequence of zeros and ones, respe respectively for non-speech and speech. We found that using a trainable feature extraction step based on signet features leads to better results than with handcrafted ones such as MFCC. Pre-trained models are available reaching state-of-the-art performance on a, range on a range of datasets as reported in the table. Speaker change detection is the task of detecting speaker change points in a given audio stream or recording. It is addressed in Piano Todio using the same sequence labeling principle as for speech activity detection, except ones now stand for speaker changes and zeros means there is no speaker change. More details about the approach can be found in the paper reference here. Overlapped speech detection is the task of detecting regions where at least two speakers are speaking at the same time. It is addressed in Piano Todio using the same sequence labeling principle where the expected output is zero if there is zero or one speaker and one if there are two simultaneous speakers or more. I recommend you read the, per the reference paper that provides a lot more details about the approach. It sets a new state of the art on the AMI mix, mix headset by a large margin. It is also an ICASP 2020 paper, so you can go and watch the associated video presentation. Like voice activity detection, clustering is one of the most important part of any speaker diarizationization derivation pipeline. It consists in grouping speech segments according to the actual identity of the speaker. Most best performing speaker derivation systems rely on speaker embeddings as input to the clustering step. As reported in this paper, Piano Todio implements a large collection of metric learning techniques, including additive angular margin loss, contrastive loss, or triplet loss, a detailed comparison of which is available in this paper, also based on Piano Todio. Piano Todio also comes with pre-trained speaker embedding models trained on Voxelab dataset and provides a very straightforward Python API to do speaker comparison. Piano Todio provides a set of command line tools for training 
validation and application of the models I just described. Reproducible research is fa facilitated by the systematic use of Pianot metrics and configuration files, while strict enforcement of train, dev, eval split with Pianot database ensures machine learning good practices. Pianot Audio relies heavily on the Pianot database library that provides a unified interface to audio databases and associated experimental protocol. In this example, an experimental protocol called MyXP is defined for the MyDB database. The train development test split is clearly defined once and for all in a unique system-wise configuration file. The idea is to make it hard to make mistakes, such as leaking test data or tuning on a test set, for instance. For each experiment, a unique configuration file contains everything needed to rerun it. A description of the task that is addressed, here speech activity detection. A description of the feature extraction step, here it works from the waveform directly. A description of the architecture of the neural network. A description of the training process and a bunch of other stuff that are not depicted in this screenshot, such as data augmentation, callbacks or preprocessors. The idea is to make it easy to build, to train speaker diarization models in a reproducible way. Here is an example of how you would train, tune and apply and evaluate a speech activity detector. The first step is to create the configuration file. Then calling Pianotodio SAD train will use the training set of the requested experimental protocol to train the model. Calling Pianotodio SAD validate will both choose the best checkpoint and the best detection threshold and store it in a params.yml file, based on the development set. Finally, calling Pianotodio SAD apply will apply the best model on test set and return ev evaluation results. The exact same API is used for the other tasks, speaker change detection, overlap detection and speaker embedding. There are two main issues that may arise with results reported in the literature. Even though the same public datasets are used, the actual evaluation protocol may differ slightly from one paper to another. The implementation of the reported evaluation metrics may also differ. So Pianotodio combines Pianot database and Pianot metrics libraries to address these two problems and provide a convenient way for researchers to evaluate their approaches in a reproducible and comparable manner. I have now reached the last slide of my presentation. There is much more in Pianotodio that I was able to tell you in such a short presentation. Go check pianot.github.io website to learn more about it. And see you on GitHub.